Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 71, but I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now also, when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have showed thy strength unto this generation, and thy power to every one that is to come. Thy righteousness also, God, is very high, who hath done great things, O God, who is like unto thee. I just recently finished a book called uh, Acres of Diamond by Russell Conwell. And I look at this particular psalm and it just reminds me the acres of diamonds that God gives us through his promises, through his continual watch care, through everything he does. He watches over us from our youth all the way to our old age. Uh, it talks about our hope continually being in him, our praise, uh, his making mention of his righteousness, his wondrous works. Basically, it comes down to this. Life is what you see in life. And you can either see acres of diamonds right where you are. Uh, you could see acres of diamonds in your church. You can see acres of diamonds in your marriage. You could see acres of diamonds in your children. Um, even if things aren't going the way you had hoped or the way you had planned, uh, if God's in control of it, it is always good. When he created back in Genesis chapter one, he said, it is good. Now that's the opposite of evolution. Evolution says everything was chaos and became uh, ordered and that's never happened in nature. No, it all started good. God gave Adam and Eve acres and acres of diamonds right there in the garden. And what did they do? They despised the diamonds and chose the one thing they weren't supposed to choose. And boy, if that doesn't ring true all the way down through today. Over and over again, people choose the things. Uh, God says, hey, that's going to hurt you. It's not going to help you. Uh, and boy, they just, uh, like the children of Israel, a good example. God gave them manna in the wilderness. And boy, they weren't satisfied with manna. They wanted something else. And uh, God said, okay, I'll, I'll give you what you want. Uh, he gave them what you wanted, but he said, you're going to be spiritually dry. And Christian, we don't want to be spiritually dry this morning. I want to challenge you. Look for acres of diamonds in everything that you do because it's the Lord that does it, not you and I that do it. And boy, that's what David did over and over again. He talked about the oppressor. He talked about the problems. He talked about circumstances, but he always came back to his hope uh, was in the Lord. And he always came back to the fact that God was in control. And I wanna tell you today, God is in control. And wherever you go, you can find acres of diamonds. Uh, just look for what God's doing in each situation. Uh, my wife and I were just traveling back after dropping Joyana off, and I just prayed a, a real quick prayer. I said, Lord, help us to find a place we could pull off to eat. And uh, there was no signs, there was no signage. It didn't say there was anything, but I said, hon, let's just pull off here in Utica, New York. And when we did, we pulled off the exit Less than a quarter of a mile away was a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Praise God for Kentucky Fried Chicken. I've loved that since I was a kid. I uh, love it still. Uh, but it was just a blessing. No road signs. We couldn't see it was there. But we just decided we were going to trust God, pulled off. And you say, oh, that's ridiculous, Pastor. Well, it could be ridiculous to you. But to me, that was just a diamond. Here was the Lord meeting our need in just the simplest way and took care of us on the uh, road trip out there and back. Thank you all for praying for us and for our safety. But I wanna say to each one of us, we need to be looking for the acres of diamonds where we're at, not always looking for the bigger and better uh, today, right now, 
thank God for every diamond he brings into your life and be thankful that he loves us and provides the best for us. God bless you and have a wonderful day.